Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Kingsley's Adventure, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we made it over to Aphasia, whatever it's called. It's basically this place right here. So, we gotta find out what we need to do next. And as far as I'm concerned, we have no idea. Or, I have no idea. Maybe you have an idea. Don't think you can open that, though. Maybe you just come out from the other side of that. I see a bunch of birds, but I don't think they have any impact on what we need to do here. Maybe I need to go in there to start the next dungeon, but what if there's any people to talk to? Okay, game's looking a little framey for some reason. I don't like that, but that just means I got to en somewhat enjoy this game a bit longer. Oh, there's a dude. Wow, Gandalf, you really let yourself go. Or goat. <laughs> I remember you! You used to live in Carrot Castle when I was very small! Are you dead? Oh, there! I thought I was but a motel. I thought that was a motel! Nowadays, I live in Orphasia. It's a nice place somewhere around here, I think. You mean you don't know where you live? Are you lost? No, I'm not lost. I'm on a er, quest. A quest to reclaim my magical robe. Without it, I am too weak to take on Bad Custard and his evil friends. When did you last see it? I'm fairly sure I saw the thief run into the castle ruins over there, but there were some of Reggie's guards hanging around, so I didn't go in. Don't worry, Cornflower. Leave everything to me. Good. I'll be waiting in my house. I know it's around here somewhere. It looks like a big book. Now where is it? Okay, so that must be where I need to go. And I did see Cornflower's house. It was basically that big-ass book that we just decided to not go in. Alright, I'll go in the castle later, but for now, let's check out the book. Or the house. It's, it's literally a house, it's a book. That is so weird, like... What do you do if you want to, like, scrub the walls? Do you have to, like, be so worried that you get a paper cut? These are just a little thing I'd like to know. Because I hate paper cuts. Paper cuts are just nasty! Like, you'll probably know if you had a paper cutter that just comes out of nowhere and it's just like a nasty slice. And you feel that sting for like hours on end. Like you can't grab anything with that particular hand because the finger touches the cut. Or an object touches the cut and it just makes it worse. And if you bend it a certain way, the cut just opens. Oh god. Where the hell am I? Okay, this feels like something you would see in Castlevania 64. Why is that dude from Chuck E. Cheese is here? Hey, he just got knocked down. Like, seriously, I don't want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. I'm a Dave and Buster's guy, even though we don't have that here either in Canada. Maybe if I, like, uh, cut you down, I'll get some free cheese sticks or something. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Is this more slippery stuff? No, it's not. It's probably just vines or weeds. That dude's got a big-ass sword. Oh my god, I got no invincibility time. And I just knocked him down. Serves him right. But I took two dumb hits, like, rapid succession here. Oh, I get my health back. Good. I think I have to get up there, but I'll stick to one side so I can avoid touching the uh, saw blades. Oh, I was at a weird angle. I didn't like that. Okay, so far so good. I don't know why I'm just grabbing these singular coins. They're not going to make that much of a difference. Oh, okay. I needed to go down first to get the key. Get out of here, you damn scorpion. Oh, I think I need to go in here first to find the key. Possibly. I do see arrows, though. Oh, God. I think I see what I need to do. I need my crossbow. I 
have to move somewhere that I'm not that they're not gonna hit me. There's a good spot though. The problem is, like, there's nowhere for you to hide. And they might shoot at different times. Why can't I pick up those arrows? Do I have to be, like, empty? I mean, look at that! That is so cheap! How many archers are there? Oh, God. I didn't kill that guy, really? It's not like I can just go over there. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, you're not safe anywhere. In order for you to use the crossbow, you have to stand, like, perfectly still, like, to get a good aim. Unless you just want me to, like, uh, do this. And even then, you're still vulnerable. Okay, maybe I need to, like, go over here, because they can't shoot past that. Like, maybe I have to get them so that they're right behind the battlements. Okay, can he? He can't shoot me from here. Okay. So there are some safe spots, but you have to look for them. Okay, there we go. We got one more target to deal with. How did he survive, like, three shots to the head? Okay, what did that do for me? Oh, it just opened some of these trap doors. Okay, one of them had a scorpion. You can take some dumb damage if you did not realize that. This must be where you get the banana key. Alright. That one did... Oh, that one now is open. Alright. Man, lost a couple lives here like an absolute idiot. Because of that damn BS with the archers. God, why can't I get the most out of my jump? Oh, come on! It had a bit of a... Oh, my God. Why was the speed so different? You get that little flutter step when you are, like, on the edge of that, and it really throws you off. Alright, I think we should be up there by now. Perfect. Now I gotta do all this jumping again. This time I got the key. I'll be honest with you, I'm... I thought by now I'll start liking this game a little bit more, and I still don't. Like I said, it's not the worst game in the world, but it's certainly not very good. Like, you can see, when they initially sold this game, it was running for around 40 bucks. And then not that long later, it got brought down to 20 bucks, showing up in bargain bins, because the game, they just didn't like it. I don't feel, like, in danger if I just stay right in the middle. Uh-oh. Mimic! Or, no, wait, why I say mimic? I meant explosive chest. That one's safe. That's good. I don't know if I should be going this way. Or I... Wait, can I go that way? Oh, wait. Technically, I can just do this. I don't know why I had to press select twice. Okay, I'm gonna run out of arrows. Wait. Oh! Okay. It was a damn scorpion! 
That's what was hitting me, causing me to, like, have my shot cancel for some strange reason. Okay, we have a problem. I got no more arrows. Can I, like... Whoa, okay, apparently that was a slope. And I can get some arrows over here. Oh, God. Was this really necessary to have that many traps? Okay, we actually managed to avoid not getting hit. I'm as surprised as you are. Okay, I think I need to do that to release that switch. I thought so. Okay, I guess I was supposed to land on safely. Aha! And that allows me to go in here. Alright, we're figuring it out. But man, this, ca this castle is a bit dark. It's so dreary. I guess it's fulfilling the purpose, but still. That looked like it was very difficult to dodge. Because of how wide that, that saw blade was. Like, look, it looks like my body should be hitting that. Oh, I did not think the saw blade was in front of the platform. I thought I was behind it. I got my perspectives messed up. Oh, come on now. Oh, God! Did I take, like, two lots of damage just for messing that up? Okay, so if you can stand on the platform, you're gonna get hit. Well, that's dumb. Okay, now it makes sense. That did not really do anything for me. Unless I'm supposed to, like, go to the other side. Alright, so... What am I supposed to do now? Oh, right, there was, like, actually more of those saw blades. I think that was the last of them. It wasn't. Where did I see another one, then? You can't shoot down that wall. Okay. Did I... Am I supposed to hit the switch from here? No. For some reason, it, it can't go through that. Oh, okay, there, there was one more. Uh, I can't tell which one of these portcullis is opened. None of them opened. Not on this side. Oh, come on! Like, some of the deaths you take in this area are so cheap! And now the saw blades return. I'm too afraid that if I try to take out that scorpion, then I'm just going to end up, you know, losing my last crossbow bolt. I guess we have to do that for all of them. That means I have to go back and get another set of bolts. Yeah, that was a bit of a flutter step that scared me, but we're all right. Like, you can't pick up any more arrows until you use up all of them. Like, what if you only have two left? And you want to, you know, restock. You can't do it. You have to use up your last arrow. Okay, why did it not make the maximum amount of... What the hell are you doing, man? Why were you at that angle? 
Like, if you had two arrows left, you're pretty much forcing yourself to use up your last arrow. Just so you can pick up the other ones. Okay. We just brought down that wall. It's so teasy, I have to keep changing your angle. Oh, God. Wait. They go right over me. I'll just camp over here to take out those Chuck E. Chuck e. Cheese dicks. Wait, why is that a thing? Oh. You have the president specific order? Um. I don't know what happened there. All I did was just press it and then it just immediately deactivated. Okay, I was actually surprised I made that jump. Okay, I'm kind of confused as to what? I'm kind of confused as to what this here puzzle does then. Oh, okay, this is open now. Did I really want to do that? Because now I just closed myself in. But it looks like that's the... God. I have to find a certain part calls I want to get in. Oh, this is going to be tedious. Alright, let's try this one. What? Oh, oh frig you! This game is just not fun! It's terrible! Like, the platforming is ass! There's, like, literally no steady movements whatsoever. Oh, now they're both locked. Okay, what is, what would this get me? Well, I can step on that switch, but then I have to press the right switch back there. And pushing this switch will just lock me in, so it's probably a fake. So hard to get the timing right on these little arrow traps over there, too. Because they're so bunched together. Oh, come on! I had enough momentum! Why didn't he make the most of that jump? Great, I'm gonna... I hit jump, and for some reason, Kingsley was like, Nope, not gonna jump. I have to do the whole... Oh my god, I have to do the whole... Wow, that's not bullshit at all. Like, what the hell were they thinking when they came up with this game? So much stupidity you gotta deal with. Like, how would you know? Like, what the switches are gonna do, because you have to, like, keep going back. And then you, you're you constantly putting yourself in danger because you gotta make this damn jump. Which, in itself, is an absolute chore. Because, you know, oh my god, you take two hits if you... If you hit the saw blade, you get hit once by the saw blade. And then the acid just takes another heart. So if you mess up that jump, that's two hearts gone. Oh yeah, I forgot about those archers over there. Apparently they respawned. Because apparently that was a cool idea. Okay, at least one of them dropped a heart for me. That's good. I don't know what button to press now. Let's try this one. If you press the one on the right, what would that do for me? 
Okay, we'll open that. Oh, they're timed. You want me to do a timed puzzle or activate a timed switch with this kind of platforming? Not to mention, oh my god. You have to time yourself with an arrow trap. And you gotta make sure you get enough momentum to make the jump. And then that happened again. But if you stop, you're putting yourself at risk of getting shot by the arrow, which would kill you anyway. This is the most stupidest shit ever. I know I sound whiny, but honestly, how can you defend this? There's nothing to defend here. This is just pure incompetence. I like how they design these kinds of levels. Like, if you had, like, better jumping, this would have been, like, ten times better. Like, almost infinitely times better, rather, I mean to say. But no, you don't have that luxury of decent jumping. Because apparently you need to be privileged for that. Oh my god, this, this is ass. Alright, well, let's try this again. Wait. Can those switches be shot? No. You have to activate them with your hands. Oh my god. Yeah, I was just gonna wait for that to drop back down. It's bad enough, like, you have to dodge all this bullcrap. Oh my god, are you serious? This is so dumb! So if you run out of lives, I think you have to do, like, the whole castle over from the beginning. There, I made it! It didn't really activate another one. Do I, like, have to run really fast to activate that one? The switch did nothing for me. All it did was just open the same one that closed from behind me. <sighs> as soon as I land there, I get hit. Oh my god, I think we actually made it. That was the worst kind of puzzle we had to deal with. I can imagine them actually getting worse than this. Man, I lost a lot of lives doing this, too. Okay, what's gonna happen if I activate this? Is this also timed? I think it's timed. No, it's not timed. I think it just allows you to get in there. Wow. That sucked. Oh, so now we gotta... I gotta activate that switch again, don't I? No, it's already activated. Okay. They saved me, like, one step. Still gotta do this acid hopping, though. Acid hopping just sounds like the name of, I don't know, like... It would sound like, like the teen version of Breaking Bad. Like, I don't know. Oh, apparently they gave you a checkpoint. They did that for me. Oh God, why are the platforming space like this? Oh my God, if I do this on the first try, I'll be impressed. Okay. 
Okay, I didn't do it. I'm gonna wait for them all to reset. Because this looks dumb too. Did I not make it? Was I just too slow? I was too slow. Oh, come on. That's bullshit right there. I jumped over it? No. Oh. Who does... Who thought this was a good idea? Alright, so now we're, we're gotta do this whole shebang over again. Look at that delay you get when you mess up. Okay, now the switches are resetting. This camera angle does not help at all. Let's just change the angle. Did I do it? Or maybe, like, what I need to do is on the other side. Oh! Okay, I just had to press that switch. Now I see a key, but I can't reach it, obviously. You know, like, all that hard work, okay, we'll give you a chest, nope, scorpions. Like, no mercy for you. Okay, that switch didn't do much for me, it just opened one of the pathways. But it looks like I need to find a way to get up in order for me to get to that key. Why would they make you redo this part, just to get back? I feel like that's borderline unnecessary. Like, seriously, why make me go through all this trouble? And if you land on the platform, like, a certain spot? That makes it Im nearly impossible to do your jump, but you're pretty much recalibrating yourself multiple times. Wait, don't tell me I gotta, like, do something else. I gotta find another switch? I got no keys, man. Like, I gotta do something else in order to get further. So we gotta go back and do this. Alright, you know what? I think I'm going to stop the video here. This castle is making me way too salty to keep going. So in the next part, we'll see what we need to do next. Goodbye, everyone.